Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're continuing writing and simplifying expressions, this time with area, area of rectangles. Here I have a rectangle, its sides are A and B, A units, B units. And you know that to calculate area of a rectangle, we need to multiply the side lengths. So I'm going to write now an expression for the area. A meaning here area. It is calculated by multiplying A times B. I'm using the raised dot here because in algebra we do not use this little cross for multiplication. However, since these two are variables or letters, I can omit it. So it's basically just AB. I could write this closer, okay? The area equals AB. This is a square, so its area would be S times S, okay? I don't need a dot there between two letters, but now there is a way to simplify that, to write it in a simpler, shorter form. Because a number times itself, we can use an exponent, S squared. This rectangle here, this side is 4x long this way and 2x long that way. Now let's write an expression for the area. It would be again side times side. 4x times 2x. This time we can simplify. It's multiplication. 4 times x times 2 times x. You can multiply in any order. So I can multiply 4 times 2 here and get 8. So I get 8. And then x times x. Just like over here, we had s times s. So x times x. I can use an exponent for it, x squared, okay? Let's also look at the perimeter of this figure, okay? V, the perimeter. You go all the way around, adding the side lengths, right? So I take 4x, and I add this side, 2x, and I add 4x, and I add... 2x. How much is that? You can simplify. Think of those x's like apples. 4 apples, 2 apples, 4 apples, 2 apples. All you need to do here is add the numbers. 4 plus 2, plus 4 plus 2, and we get 12. 12 times x. 12 x's, 12 apples. Let's calculate the area one more time here. This side is 3y, this side 3y. Again, this little unit here would be exactly y long, y, 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 making 3y for the length. The area equals 3y, one side, times the other side. Now how would we simplify that? I can multiply in any order. 3 times 3 gives me 9, and y times y gives me y squared, yes. I also want to show you something over here. 9y squared, how we can visualize it here in this square. Like I just mentioned, this here is y long, and this side here is y long. So the area of one of these little squares is y times y, which is y squared, right? And we have nine such squares, a total area of nine times y squared, which is right here too. The last one, this should be easy now. What is the area and what is the perimeter? Area, multiply the side lengths. And over here, since this is all multiplication, you can multiply 6 times 3, get 18. Write that first as a coefficient and then a times a gives you a squared. And then perimeter you add, okay? Go all the way around and add 6a, 3a, 6a, 3a. So there's a total of 18a. No squaring here, okay? Over here, we are given the area of the rectangle. The area is 40x squared. This side length is missing or unknown. This side length is 10x. So now you need to think 10x times what gives you 40x squared? 
Okay, if we look at the number 10 here and 40 here, it looks like 4 would go here, right? Because 10 times 4 gives you 40. But that's not quite enough. Because we also need x times x to give us x squared. So 4x is the other side. How about here? This is a square. Its area is 16s squared. What is the side length? It is some number or some expression here times itself gives you 16s squared. Now the 16 makes you think of 4, right? Because 4 times 4 equals 16. And then what times what equals s squared? Well, s of course. So we get 4s as the side length. The perimeter of a square is 8x. What is its area? Anytime you have this kind of a question about a rectangle or a square that involves both perimeter and area, it's good to sketch a little picture, okay? So I'm going to sketch a square here. Just to help us think, we know that the perimeter is 8x. So if you go all the way around and add those, you get 8x. So how much would be the side length then? 8x. Okay, I hope you can see it will be 2x. 2x plus 2x plus 2x plus 2x gives you 8x. I'll put this here too. Now the area is easy to solve, right? Because we know the side length. The area is, of course, the side length times the side length. And this would give us 4 x times x, x squared. In our last problem, we are supposed to solve both area and perimeter of this figure. It's more complicated now. And I see immediately I need to divide this figure into two rectangles. And then it should be easy. For example, this way. You could do it another way too, you could divide it here instead. But let's try that. Then some of the side lengths here are missing, and we surely need those for the perimeter at least. How long is this side here? Okay, it would be the sum of this and this. Here's 4x and 3x. So this side here would be 7x. And then this one would be the sum of this and this or 3x. Let's take the perimeter first. You go all the way around and add, starting here for example, 7x, add 2x, add 3x, add x, and 4x, and 3x. Okay. Here in addition, you can add these different terms just by adding the numbers, and then it, be, then it will be that many times x. So we have 9, 12, 13, and 7, 20. The perimeter is 20x. Then for the area, I'm going to call this rectangle here area 1. Its area is area 1, and then this is the area 2. And then we will need to solve these separately and lastly add. First one, area 1, this rectangle, its side lengths are here, 4x and 3x. So multiply those and we get 12x squared. Remember the squaring here. And then the second area, this is 3x and 2x. So we get 6x squared and now the total area, you add these, okay? These, these are two terms that are added. They are similar terms, okay? Because this part here is the same, x squared, x squared. So we can just add these coefficients, 12 and 6, and we get 18x squared as the total area. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.